where to prune. You don't want to prune in the middle of a stem like that. We want to make our cut just above a live leaf, like right here. Now that'll heal nicely and put out new growth. Okay, let's go to work. Do you remember that guy with the epic mustache and the green thumb who captured the hearts of renovation lovers all over America? I guess definitely, because only Roger Cook has the audacity to do that. The do-it-yourself show This Old House became the headline of lifestyle magazines due to his majestic gardening and landscaping craft. Unlike other creators, Roger knew that authenticity was the key to make this old house a dope TV show, so he kept it legit. He got young to old while telling the world that entertainment can be beyond glamour or personal drama too. That's why viewers vibe with this old school programming and it's one of the most watched shows on TV with over 90 nominations. Well, it turns out that after years of helping us make our gardens gorgeous and our homes historic, Roger disappeared into thin air. He left his fans digging and finding out just what the heck happened to him. So let's get hype and find out what really happened to Roger Cook from this old house. Trees add character to the neighborhood, but not just character. Deciduous trees, when they leaf out in the summer, they create shade and they cool the buildings. In the wintertime, those leaves fall off, the sun's rays get through and they warm the building. Well, if you've watched this old house, even a few episodes, you must be familiar that Roger Cook was an absolute rock star. He brought his A-game to every single episode and kept the viewers in awe by showing off his mad landscaping skills. He was the kind of guy who had the crook to take a sad and barren patch of land and turn it into a lush green oasis in no time. Every time he did, he did it with a smile on his face and twinkle in his eyes that made his viewer his raving fans. Surprisingly, Roger didn't come from a landscape or gardening background. Neither his father has a farm, nor he was a gardener himself, but the young man got a serious passion for it. The OG landscaping legend was born back in 1955 in Massachusetts, USA. While growing up, he fell in love with gardening and got the glimpse that he had to pursue his passion. From a very young age, he became interested in natural sciences, so he hit up the University of Maine and graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Wildlife Management and Conservation Law in 1977. Just like your average chill dude stuff, you know. While at university, he not only mastered his study of landscaping and gardening, but also fell in love for the second time in his life. Yeah, you got it right. First was obviously landscaping. Once he got done with the university thing, Roger joined the Massachusetts Arborist Association and has been making moves in the landscaping game ever since. First of all, he started his own business in 1982 named K&R Tree and Landscape Company. It was close to his heart because his wife Kathleen was his partner and that was the reason he was killing it. His amazing craft spoke to his skills. Roger was so good that he caught the eyes of the folks at this old house in 1982 and got invited to join a few episodes on the show. This time, Roger proved himself with his unmatched landscaping skills. Everybody started believing he was not just a landscaper, he was a magician who made trees disappear and plants appear to turn a boring lawn into a lively ecosystem. The man was a true artist and fans became crazy to witness his masterpieces on the show. So, in 1988, the show authorities decided to raise a glass to the king of landscaping and make him the main cast member of This Old House. Now, the first nine seasons of the show went pretty well with Roger's guest appearances. However, in season 10, things were switched up and more outdoor vibes were brought into the show along with Roger as a permanent crew member. Now, it was all about improving the garden and sharing the landscaping ideas. Roger was assigned the role of landscape contractor and no offence, he was so smooth and he knew his stuff. He, along with his team of K&R Tree Landscaping Company, made it sure that everything is green and good to go. Roger's technique to add a ton of mulch to the sole and spray anti-desiccant to coat the leaves and keep the water loss to a minimum got famous. Moreover, his expertise was on full display during the first episode and due to this, the viewers got intensely impressed. Not only was he making his mark on the TV screen, millions of his clips got out and many got viral. His most seen video, How to Fix a Patchy Weedy Lawn, got over half a billion views and became the most watched video on This Old House's YouTube channel. In the video, Roger teaches the owner how to get a fresh lawn and breaks the whole process into steps while using his tools like a pro. 
He outcast the other dummy-like celebrities on the show and made landscaping intimidating and simple for his audience. Roger was not on the show just to earn a few bucks and become famous. He came here because gardening and landscaping was his passion. He was once asked about his favourite project on the show and he said that it was Manchester by the Sea. On the 35th anniversary of the show, he got some amazing clients who wanted to turn their outdoors into something beautiful. Roger did some really cool stuff for them, like building hardscaping patios. However, the thing that really hyped him was a little patio he made using water and leftover granite found in someone's yard. This was the project he loved to do while sipping coffee near the sailing boats. Along with hundreds of other projects under his belt, Roger completed his 35 years on this old house as a landscape contractor. It was due to his determination and excellence, the TV show got nominated 90 times in different categories and grabbed 19 of them. Everything was going well and fans were being amazed by the landscaping skills of Roger, but then his appearance rate started falling short. Unfortunately, Dan Surat, the CEO of This Old House, announced something that broke the heart of million renovation and DIY lovers. Well, on the 13th of January 2020, he announced that Roger Cook would no longer be part of the show. He gave no explanation for what might be the reason behind this devastating news. Some speculated that he was in trouble, and some folks said that he was asked to quit, but the reality turned out different. Roger was dealing with serious health issues. It was rumoured that he had a heart attack, but nothing was announced officially. Several fans threw the theories that he might be fighting cancer or Parkinson's disease. Following his chaos, Roger himself stepped in the circle and clarified his fans by writing a letter in which he said goodbye to them. The landscaping guru revealed that he wants to focus on his family. Moreover, he thanked the old house crew in a pretty cool manner, which gave an idea that there is no bad blood between them, and Roger has made the decision of retirement at his own will. Roger may be gone, but his legacy will live on through the amazing work he did on this old house. A few days after retiring from the show, rumours about Roger's death circulated on social media. It was being said that the legend died due to serious illness. However, he was alive to see the reaction of people on his death. What a lucky pee. After this shameful incident, Roger started keeping his life more private and moved to his family home in Burlington, Massachusetts to live the rest of his life away from the world of fame and false speculations. It was clear that he wanted to spend more time with his wife Kathleen, who was his love of life since university days and two children. Besides being a gardening enthusiast, Roger is also a big animal lover and enjoys spending time with nature and grows his own healthy food. Currently, he's 66 years old with a whopping net worth of $11 million, which is obviously enough for him to retire and enjoy the rest of his life following his passion instead of being in rule with profession. As per his health is concerned, the latest reports have suggested that he's still battling the diseases he had in 2018 and is much weaker than the time when he was seen limping. Surprisingly, the landscaper has a mysterious side too that only few people know. In addition to his work on this old house, Roger has also written several books on gardening and landscaping, including Roger Cook's Power Tools for Successful Gardening and The Complete Guide to Landscape Projects. He's a huge fan of rugby too. Despite his public persona, Roger is a very private person. He's rarely spoken about his personal life in interviews or on the show, so not much is known about his family life. There is no exact count on how many houses and backyards he's transformed and how many people the magician has inspired. The truth is, the true legend will always be missed on this old house show.